It is after one o'clock. Let's get started, kids. Let's all read this wonderful sentence on your screen. It says, please return your homework packs when you are finished with them. Some of you have given me all of your homework. Some of you have given me some of your homework. However, there are some of you who have not shown me anything while we have not been out of school. And I'm sure you all know who you are, okay? So just make sure that we are finishing this stuff and returning it to school. I don't wanna have to check a million things all at the end of school because that will not go well, all right? So if you haven't finished something, please just uh, try to finish it. Or if you have questions about it, I'm happy to direct you to a video where we covered everything, okay? Um, Otherwise, just make sure you return them. All right, kids? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Just make sure. Some of you have given me your work, some of you have not. All right. Let's let's do one warm-up problem because no one likes to show up on time for afternoon class. Um, let's do. All right, kids, I want everybody to get out a piece of paper and a pencil, and let's try and do this math problem. 1,976 divided by eight. And I'll tell you right now, there is a bunch of division on your final exam. So make sure we can do these problems. And if you can't do these problems, please make sure you ask questions. For those of you just joining us, we are just doing this math problem just to make sure we can do it. 1,976 divided by eight. Please don't draw on the screen. You can- All the time, finish. You're finished, good. Easy? I'm just thinking, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong because I'm thinking I'm not take a paper to do. Oh, you're doing this in your head? Really? Yep. You should get a piece of paper. That way you can write things down. It'll make it much easier. Oh, I'm done. I'm not sure that I'm right. That is why we are reviewing this to make sure we get it right on the test. Um. 
also for those of you just showing up, just make sure we all read this math, this uh, sentence here, okay? Please return your homework packs when you are finished with them. Some of you have given me all your work, which is awesome. Some of you have given me some of your work. Some of you are trying to blind me with a flashlight, tell me. And some of you have given me no work, which is probably not the best thing, okay? If you are not finished with something, please just make sure you tell me which page you need help with. All right, you can message me on Class Dojo. Or Teacher you, Ramsey. Yes, miraculous. Uh, on, Hannah. I returned my uh, homework already. Good. All right. I got the answer. Are we all finished with this problem? Yes. If you are having trouble with this problem, you should be asking questions right now. Okay. I think I'm right. Teach how to understand how to do this. All right. That's why we're reviewing. Okay. So um, just think of your multiplication tables. You should be thinking of all the multiples of eight that you know. All right. Multiples of eight, eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on and so on and so on. Okay. Um, our first number here is a one, okay? We cannot fit any eights into one, so we're going to have to move to the uh, next column here, but do not forget yep. about your one, all right? We still need this one. So how many times does eight fit into 19? Oh. Eight will fit in two times, okay? Eight times two is 16. And then we subtract out, okay? 19 minus 16 is three. Then you bring down your next number. Seven. How many times Seven. does eight fit into 37? Well, four. Uh, eight times four. four is 32. That's about as close Two. as we're gonna get. Yes. And then once we'll again, be correct. subtract out, you four. should end up with five here. Then we end up with 56, all right? 56 seven. is exactly eight times seven. And then um, this will end up yes, being zero, okay? So did we all end up with 247? Yes. I hope so. Mm -hmm. <gasps> all right, kids. Dude, what happened? Dude, what happened? I don't know. My computer is a problem. Your computer has a problem? Yeah. Maybe you should stop hacking into stuff and then there won't be any problems. Oh, I don't know. All right, kids, let's go back to what we were doing this morning. Uh, we were working on perimeter and area, okay? So for those of you who weren't here this morning, perimeter. Perimeter is the total distance around the square or the rectangle or whatever shape you're dealing with, okay? Which means if you want to find the perimeter, you need to add up all four sides. Can we keep ourselves on mute? unless you have a question. All right, so uh, once again, perimeter, you're just adding up the sides, okay? When we talk about area, we're talking about the total space that's inside of your shape. So this whole thing here is all the area, all right? And we get area by multiplying the breadth times the length, okay? The long side times the short side. 
And we also measure area in units squared, in this case, meters squared, okay? Because we are measuring this way and we are also measuring this way, okay? We are taking two different measurements. So we need this little two here, all right? So um, just to review. All right, we covered, oh, we covered all of this this morning, yes? All right, um, just to review, squares are even easier. In order to get areas for squares, um, all you need to know is your multiplication tables and remember that all the sides of a square are equal, okay? If your area is 49 centimeters squared, your lengths can only be one thing, okay? Seven times seven is 49. That will give you the area for a square. If you're dealing with a rectangle, we just want to multiply the short side times the long side, okay? So um, here, our answer is 54 meters squared. If this side is six, it's gonna be nine, okay? Nine times six is 54. All right, let's go back up to this page. I'm on page 136. Also, for those of you who were not here this morning, this is section five. And once again, page 136. All right, and let's just look at this chart here, okay? In this chart, we got a bunch of rectangles and they are giving you the length, meaning the long side. They're also giving you the area. They wanna know the short side, the breadth, okay? So um, this should be relatively easy, okay? If you just set it up like a math problem, what times what equals whatever is the area, okay? For example, they're in number one here, they're giving you the length, which is four, and they're giving you the area, which is 12. What times, four times what equals 12? What do you think, Ross? Four times what equals 12? Four times three. Perfect. Easy? Yes. Okay. Long side times the short side equals the whole rectangle. All right. Part B. Kid, kid, do you want to try part B for us, please? Yes. Uh, eight times six. All right. Eight times six is 48. All right. And lastly, letter C. How about Jupiter? Can you do letter C for us, please? Letter C. Um, so what are we doing again? We are trying to find the area of these rectangles. Well, we're not trying to find the area. They give you the, the area, which is the whole thing. They give you the long side. They want you to figure out the short side. But if oh, you okay. keep in mind that the long side times the short side will give you the whole area. This should be easy. So six times what equals 30? Six times five. Perfect. Okay. All right. Is this easy? I think if you know your multiplication tables, this should be easy. Yes. And we did all these squares this morning, so I'm not going to go back through all of them. Just realize that all the sides of the square are the same. Okay. So if you try, if you're trying to find the area of a square, eight times eight is going to be 64 centimeters. And then also make sure you don't forget your little two in the corner there. 
64 centimeters squared. All right. We are now going to head over to section six, which is from your workbook, page 121. Give me a second and I'll pull it up for you. All right, we all got section six, page 121. Yes. All right, practice two, area of rectangles and squares. Once again, just remember your multiplication tables. I can see that some of you already have answers. All right, let's look at this first rectangle here. The length is 12 centimeters. The breadth is six centimeters. What is the area of this rectangle going to be? Uh, what do you think, Joden? I want to know the area of this rectangle here. Are you on section six? Hold on. Can you see what I'm right. It should look like this. Yeah, on this page. Yes. Okay. Use some bubble speak, come on. All right, so let's figure out the area of this rectangle, kids. Just remember it's length times breadth, long side times short side. So our answer should be what, Joden? Uh, answer should be seventy-two. Right. Okay. Okay. Does someone have class next to you? That's okay. All right. Um. So yes. Yes. In letter A here, we should get seventy-two centimeters squared. All right. And let's try letter B. Kim Sai, can you try letter B, please? Here, they're only giving you one side, but this is a square. Yeah. Um, we get nine times four. Remember, we want the area. Uh, times two. All right. We have nine. What's this side? Yes. How long is it from here to here? Mm. 18. No, 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 no. Just remember all the sides of the square are equal. So if this side is nine, then this side should be how many centimeters? Uh, 18. No, no, no. Equal. We know the word equal, right? All right. Equal means all the sides are the same. So if the top side is nine, then the side over here is also nine. Yes? Okay. Okay. And this side is nine. And nine the other side is nine. Yeah. Okay. So we want to know the area. We don't want to know perimeter, okay? If perimeter, we can just add all these up, okay? Nine plus nine plus nine plus nine. But we want the area. It's so we are going to take nine 
times nine, yeah? What do you see? Oh, I'm not so sure. Nine times nine is not 36. Nine times nine is 81. There you go. All right, so do we understand how to do this, kids? This is not the perimeter anymore. Now this is the area. We are not measuring this plus this plus this plus this. That is the perimeter, okay? In the area, we are measuring all this space on the inside here, okay? Everything on the inside, which means we need to measure this way across times up and down, okay? But since squares, we have all the sides are equal, we can just do nine times nine or eight times eight or seven times seven, all right? Let's keep going. All right, number two here, now they are giving you the area and it's short side, the breadth is six centimeters. We wanna know the long side. You think you can figure that out, Cyclone? Can you kids still hear me? What? What? Yeah, yeah. Is my internet okay? I can hear you now. Yes, okay, you is okay. All right, just remember area equals length, length times breadth, okay? So in this case, the area, all this space on the inside equals 78. So we have 78 <laughs> equals, we don't know the length. I'm not sure what that is, but we do know the short side here is six centimeters. Tycoon, do you think you can figure this out? Yes. Seventy-eight equals six times what? Okay, no answer. Yes. And no answer. I know the answer. Or if you want to work backwards, just do. 78 divided by six. And this will give you this missing piece of the puzzle here. What do you think, Tycoon? Did we come up with an answer? Yes. What'd you get? 13 times 6. All right. So our long side is 13. And our short side should be 6. OK, now we have answered this question. We should end up with 13. Let's try number 3 here. All right. Now the area of our rectangle is 56 centimeters squared. And now they're giving you the long side. Its length is eight centimeters. We want to find the short side. Hmm. Hannah, you want to try this one, please? Um. Uh, I got, I got, I got trouble in that. Well, let's just plug in the information we know, okay? The area is equal to 56 
centimeters squared. They have also given yeah. you the length. The length is eight centimeters squared. We want to find this side, this question mark. Seven, I mean, it's, um, seven. Seven, yes, all right. Eight times seven equals 56. All right, also kids, if you get confused or you get like a super huge number that you've never seen on your multiplication tables, you can always just do 56 divided by eight. All right, and this will end up with seven, okay? This will always give you the missing piece of the puzzle here if you do it backwards and you do it correctly. All right, let's move on to the next one here. It says the area of a square is 64 centimeters squared. Find the length of one side of the square. And then they gave you a hint here. What number multiplied by itself is equal to 64? All right, once again, all of our sides on this square are equal. which means we can just multiply something by the same number. Oh, I always see these same hands over and over again. That's all right. Yes, Joden, what do we think? We take six divided by four. Oh. Um, no, that's, that'd be a good way to get the perimeter, just remember though, in this case, we want the area, so remember area, all right, yes, what do we think, Joden? All right, we know that the area is 64. We also know these are equal. So what times what? equals 64. Hmm, what do we think? Tell me what, what times what equals 64? Okay, thank you. Eight, eight, eight. Eight, eight, eight. That's too many eights. All right, yes, eight times eight will equal 64. All right. Just remember, kids, that all of these sides are equal, okay? That's why they gave you the hint. What number multiplied by itself, meaning the same number, is equal to 64? Let's try one more of these. So um, if I gave you the number, hmm, let's say our area here is 144 centimeters squared. What times what is 144? Oh no, did we all forget our multiplication tables, kids? Teacher Ramsey. Yes, Hannah. Um, I I think I know the answer. What do you think? Um, I think it's twelve times twelve. Okay, I think that's a good answer. Kids, just make sure we know our multiplication tables. And remember that all the sides on the square are equal.
All right, so now that um, if I'm saying this is 144, let's try and find the perimeter of this square. If we know that each side equals 12, what is the perimeter? Remember the perimeter is the total distance all the way around all four sides. So we should just be adding up all four of the sides. Yes, kid, kid. I'm still doing the calculation. Say that again. I'm still doing it. I'm not yet. I did not get an answer. Oh, sorry. I thought you raised your hand. All right, just remember all four of these are equal. So if one side equals 12, that means every side equals 12. Yes, Hannah? Um, the answer is 48. All right, 48. 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 should equal 48. Or if you wanna do it the fast way, just 12 times four sides, okay? 12 times four will equal 48. All right, let's do this next problem. All right, now they are asking you for uh, area and perimeter. All right, the area of a rectangular piece of paper is 48 centimeters squared. Its length, the long side is eight centimeters. So question A is asking you to find the breadth. And once again, let's just remember that the length times the breadth is equal to the area. We already know the area. We already know the length. Hmm. So Ramsey, I got an answer. Rosa, can you try this one for us, please? Six, eight times six. Perfect. You should raise your hand more. All right, yes. Eight times six is equal to 48, okay? So our breath here, the short side, this is going to be six. And we also know that when we're dealing with rectangles, we have two long sides and those are equal, which means if the top is eight centimeters, the bottom is also eight centimeters. And if this side is six, this side must also be six. All right. So part B here says find the perimeter. Once again, the perimeter is just the distance all the way around. So we should just be adding up all four sides. Jupiter, are you totally still here? Yeah. All right. Can you find the perimeter of this piece of paper for us? OK. Is that? Um... Eight times six equals forty-eight. So the there is forty-eight. I'm asking you for the perimeter. We have, to, we have to do eight times eight times six times six. Oh, well, that's going to be a super big number. Once again, perimeter is just oh, the distance of all four sides. All you got to do is add up all four sides. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say that. I didn't mean to say the times. That's okay. Twenty-eight. All right. Eight plus six plus eight. Oh man, why won't this let me write? Okay, eight plus six plus eight plus six. Yes, we should end up with 28. 
Oh, and also make sure we know what we're counting in. We are counting in centimeters there. All right, I think we can, we might be able to do one more. Number six, the area of a square garden is 100 meters squared. So find the length of each side of the garden. Once again, the area equals the long side times the short side. But all of these sides on a square are equal. So we should just be thinking about what times what equals 100. Hmm. What do we think, Holland? Or Dappy set? 10. 10. All right. 10 times 10 is 100. That's the answer for part A here. All right. And then let's try and find the perimeter. If one side is 10, that means all of these sides are 10. 40. 40. Perfect. And we are working in meters here. So this is going to be 40 meters. And this is 10 meters. Questions? We are going to cut off very soon. I'll see you kids tomorrow. We'll keep working on this. All right? Okay, I feel so sleepy. You feel so sleepy? Okay, well, it's time to take a nap.